Look at the dark clouds over Denver right now. This is a live picture from Air Tracker 7. Storm threatening the metro area for the second day in a row. And Chief Meteorologist Mike Nelson tracking the storm in the 24 7 Weather Center. Here we go again. First of all, a severe thunderstorm watch covers all of eastern Colorado until 10 o'clock tonight. The storm's forming along and east of this stationary weather front. And in the Denver area, this is what we're seeing right now. Two areas of storms, one to the west in the foothills, and the other one right over downtown Denver and extending off toward DIA. This is a severe thunderstorm. Warning in effect until 5:30 this afternoon. The heaviest of the storm around I-70 in Havana, over toward Martin Luther King Boulevard, extending up into the Montbello area. You may get hail the size of half dollars and very heavy rainfall from this storm as it continues to move toward the east at only about 15 miles per hour. We'll get another round of storms rolling right out into the metro area again, off the foothills to the west of us. That'll come in in about 45 minutes. More scattered storms down to the south around Elizabeth and Kiowa, and a real nasty thunderstorm that continues out near Lyman and Hugo and out here we have a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for this cell until 545 that is where my colleague Matt Makins is again this afternoon Matt you were there late into the night last night it looks like it might be round two and Mike this storm has a very similar structure to the storms we were tracing and tracking last night we're trying to get you a little camera picture, but we're fighting a little bit of hail that's coming out on the southern edge of the storm. We are well south of Matheson, trying to close in on Highway 71, which is uh, will probably come out about three miles south of Lyman. The storm has really picked up its pace moving south, Mike. Strong winds are hitting this area, a lot of uh, blowing dust, a lot of some large hailstones out ahead of the storm as well. The rotation of the storm has weakened greatly, but it has become a hail and damaging wind threat from our vantage point. We're going to continue to track the tornado threat as it moves south. As we drift down to the south, we'll try to effort pictures for you throughout the evening.